It's my first time training for a 5k and I definitely needed a game plan because I've never ran three miles in my life before so it was going to be hard. But let's go to my thinking couch. The first thing is to motivate myself to run alone. My legs hurt and I'm getting tired. I think if I control my breath, I could go a little further. I didn't think this run would be so freaking hard. Second thing is set a goal or a time for myself. And I say 40 to 45 minutes, 13 minute miles would be the best thing to do right now because I am a beginner and that works for me. Get a partner just in case there's an emergency and I need someone to run with me when I'm getting lazy or tired. I got my coach right here. <laughs> Get one of the best apps to help me out as I'm running. So I've heard Strava is a good one and Pulse to 5K. So these are my intervals. I'm going to run for 28 minutes, run for two minutes, walk for one minute. I think that works for me. It is necessary for me to start like that. I got to open up those lungs because they're not as open as real runners. I got to start with my running and walking routine. I'm so bad at running alone because I get so exhausted and I want to stop. Where's the coach when you need one? I'm going back. I'm tired. And it's not that I can't progress on my own. It's just that it's just funner running with other people. I like competing. I know running is not a competition, but that is just how I work. So once I get going on the second, third mile, I feel great. The race was coming up soon, three months, and I only ran twice a week for all these 12 weeks, which is not good if I'm trying to train hard. I think I could have done better, but oh well. So once I started running with my boyfriend, he was coaching me. He was telling me if I was needed to slow down, if I needed to fat, go faster, because when I go slow, I'm actually like walking really fast, which is not good for me when I'm trying to take a break. I'm supposed to go as slow as I can, and then once I am ready to jog, I'm ready to jog. All this training is good. How would you call it? I don't know. All this training is gonna what? Kill you? No, it's gonna kill me, but it's gonna help me. Sometimes you do feel like giving up. Like when I was running with my boyfriend, I was getting exhausted. I was getting tired, but he kept telling me keep on going, and I kept on going. It smells like food. I'm hungry. <laughs> to the restaurant. I think the hardest part about running for the first time or getting into running is discipline. Like just telling yourself you gotta run, it's good for your body, it's good for your lungs, it's good for your breathing and it gets you in a state of relaxation, it gets you in a state of health. Like you're healthy, your blood is running through your veins, you feel energized. Oh my god and the whole running community is just like so great. If I didn't have the running community like my boyfriend and my friend that ran with me throughout this process, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have ran. Hi, oh, it's all thanks to my babe slash coach. I, there was so much a team of runners that like just motivate you to keep on going. Guides that help us in San Francisco, Achilles International, oh my god, learning about them was so great. Everyone is amazing and just running with all of them and <laughs> Pushing them pushing you to keep on going, you're doing great, is something that people need. People need that validation that they are doing great. It just feels great. And then once race day came, all right, we had a bunch of traffic. There was traffic everywhere and we had to wait there. And then all of a sudden we got to our Airbnb. It was so beautiful. It was like an ocean themed room and it had all these things you could touch, it had like seashells, it had starfishes, it had everything that the sea has. And I felt like in another place. And before we went to bed, me and my boyfriend had a plan, oh let's go walk all by the ocean. And even though it was foggy, it's just so satisfying, like smelling that cold air, being by the salty sea, and just enjoying that time you have when you're taking a break. The ocean, the foggy weather. I didn't film the race day that much because, you know, I forgot my SD card for my GoPro, so I wasn't able to do that. But I was able to be in the moment, run with my guide. That was so great. 
we I think both of us did so good and her guiding me was so simple because I can't follow all these freaking signs that tell you where to go so I need a guide once I was done I was exhausted like proud of you oh, baby tired. tired? are you hungry? <laughs> I don't know I'm happy, Miguel. Proud of you. I was like looking for you guys, and then so they see you right here in the front. <laughs> so good. But luckily, I finished. This is a photo of me and my guide. I was just so excited and happy that I was able to finish it. My three miles in 40 minutes, 40 seconds, good numbers, 40 40. So next time, hopefully, I'll do it in 30 minutes because it's another goal, and maybe go to a 10K. Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below. How do you train? Do you use Strava? Do you use the Impulse 5K or Couch to 5K? I think you need them to keep track of your time, how far you've gone, and then you build a community with other runners. I think we all need a community wherever we're at, and it's important now that we have online. Man, you're able to find so many great people, so I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you want to see next? And I'll see you next time.